So in breast cancers, as well as many other solid tumors, um, we find the dendritic cells, and especially the DC1 subtype of dendritic cells, are very important to generating anti-tumor immunity, but also response to PD-1 or PD-L1 immune checkpoint blockade and other forms of T-cell-based uh, immunotherapy. Unfortunately, this process of antigen presentation with these cells is also deficient in breast cancers as well as other tumors. So these agents were selected to counteract this deficiency. FLT3 ligand is a growth factor that um, increases the differentiation of the dendritic cells and specifically this DC1 subset. CD40 agonists stimulate the antigen presenting cells um, because if we have uh, less mature cells, you can instead get tolerogenic immune function rather than the anti-cancer uh, CD8 T cell response that we want. And chemotherapy has been found to synergize with um, several immunotherapies in breast cancer where we've seen the most success, and in other cancer models has been shown to synergize with CD40 agonists. And the CD40 agonists and the FLIP3 ligand have been shown to synergize with each other, but these three haven't really been studied together, especially in breast cancer. Um, so we, we started by studying this in mouse models first to see if this is a viable strategy for clinical trials.